setting your chops off for cross laps. So I've got this X accent that, I've, that I'm making for the kitchen cabinet that I've got back there. And I've already milled my boards. They're already uniform. They're already square. I've gone and marked out the, the area where they're going to lap over one another. And I've marked out the halfway mark on these boards. So what I need to do now is set my saw so that it only goes down halfway. And then I can go and cut out all that material. So on most chop saws, there is going to be a depth gauge. On this one, it happens to be on the other side. So over here, on the back, right here, and this little unit down here, you can flip it in and flip it out. When it's in, then, then this depth gauge just goes down into the hole and, and you can cut the full length or the full um, stroke, whatever you call it. And when this is out, then it engages with the bottom of this screw and that's what sets your depth. You'll see that that screw is gonna come down and hit on top of that plate. And that's what's gonna stop it from going down. And you can make fine micro adjustments to get it just, just how you want it. So now I'm going to turn my saw to the side so it's a bit easier. I'm going to set the board on here and then I'm going to bring my saw blade down and then try and find, it was almost set just right now, I'm going to set it and then make it just so that at the, the very bottom of the stroke, just got to go up a tiny bit, I'm just going to take out that line, maybe up a tiny bit. So now every time I come down and cut across that, it's going to be at the right height. Okay, when you go to cut, you're going to want to put another board in behind, or else you won't cut all the way through before the radius of the saw comes up at the back side. So you set something in the back that both protects the blowout on the back, but it also gives you a nice line uh, all the way through. So I'll cut the front side and the back side and then carve out the middle. Okay, then if you've done things right, you'll have uh, two pieces with, with these half laps all done. And if you've colored inside the lines and you've laid stuff out right, then they should fit together nice and tight. And you should end up with a nice X accent with nice tight joints and ready to go on your furniture. And this one, is going right in here.